stick with me and I'm going to teach you all about the new DLive for 2019. Welcome, my name is Taryn Lupo and I'm going to take you through what's new on DLive in 2019. Now I made a pretty popular YouTube video about DLive back in 2018 but so much has changed it's like a whole different platform now. So I'm going to take you through all the changes and what happened. In this video we're going to start off with just if you've never even heard of DLive how do you sign up? How do you make an account? And then I'm going to move into what you can do on DLive and then the end of the video I'm going to talk about all the details you need to know if you wanted to stream or um, how you become a partner we're gonna get into just like everything you've ever wanted to know about DLive but first let me explain for you people that have never even heard of DLive what it is it is a streaming platform it's a decentralized streaming platform for people like me that I have a large audience on YouTube but when I live stream I get a very 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 tiny audience it's very difficult um, YouTube has kind of throttled my live streams down so much and a lot of my friends complain that their channels are censored and uh, and even at Twitch you know when we go over there they're making more and more rules it's getting stricter and stricter at Twitch so there's a need for a place that is uncensored and decentralized so DLive has filled that they're the premier streaming service out there that is actually uncensored and is uh, well decentralized and free so that's very very important and I think it is the future where most people are gonna go because they're getting tired of uh, being hassled for you know they just want to stream what they want to stream so that being said uh, many of you watching don't care because you're not streamers you just want to sign up so you can support your streamers watch stuff and maybe even earn a little cryptocurrency while you do so now unlike other platforms DLive has a thing where even if you're just watching you get rewarded for interacting and watching uh, with cryptocurrency called Lino points L-I-N-O and we're gonna get into Linos and, and all that so uh, now if you are interested in streaming and uh, actually trying to make a presence over there you definitely want to stay tuned because I'm gonna dive into that and, and give you some tips on how to be more successful over there with that so I want to show you this right here this is from Jimmy and he is uh, one of the guys over at DLive who's uh, been very good in my channel but he wrote an article on how to sign up so what's gonna happen is you're gonna go to something called DLive.TV and when you go there for the first time you're going to see something like this and in the corner oh, you can't even see it there in the corner you're gonna see a sign up button once you sign up you're gonna be directed to make a Lino wallet now as I said before even if you don't understand cryptocurrency you need a Leno wallet um, to to operate and do things on this platform like you can always go watch DLive but you can't make comments you can't tip people you can't make money for watching unless you have a, a Leno wallet and the good news is it's free and it's easy to set up so there's two ways to set up your account the first way is to create a Leno wallet and it's going to prompt you to create an account this is the much better and easier way if you have a choice do this way this creates a wallet and once you have a wallet um, then all of a sudden DLive will just know you have a wallet and they'll link the two together why it's why it's on it'll sign the other option you have is you can sign in with something you already have like Facebook YouTube Twitch or email now um, this will also eventually create you a, a Leno blockchain wallet that will be linked to that account as well but we'll get into that again if you have the option much easier just to set up the wallet first this is a uh, one more step if you do it this way so once you create the wallet you'll go in and um, you'll see something like this where the Leno wallet appears you'll make an account you'll make your password you'll confirm your password you check the little box and then you can continue now there's something very 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 important here when you get in eventually it is going to want you to back up your wallet where it's going to give you a set of 12 
passworded um, it's going to give you a set of 12 passwords so in other words like if you lose your phone or you change computers or somebody hacks you or something or that you can always recover your account with this set of 12 words now you need to write them on a piece of paper and hide them somewhere don't put them online you know don't write it in yourself an email or something protect these things and stick them out because eventually believe it or not uh, you'll end up making a decent amount of Linos after a while and if this platform takes off it could be worth a lot of money you know think about like where Bitcoin was if if you had Bitcoin way back in the day same thing so that's that's that now let me show you once you sign in DLive is gonna look like this you're gonna see somebody whoever's got the highest rank right now the most people watching it'll just start live streaming whatever they're looking at there will be over here Creators on the rise is the people the last 24 hours who got tipped the most. So this person here made 28,000 Leno points in donations. I don't know what he's doing, but man, I wish I was him. Uh, and it, and this is kind of like if you're looking for people to follow, you can follow them here. Once you sign up, you will uh, let's see, you'll have a little icon here, and what you want to do is you click this icon, and in here if you used a um let's see if it's i think it's under settings if you used your uh youtube or something else to to sign up your wallet won't be connected until you put your phone number in and confirm it so you have to click your phone number and confirm then it'll link your wallet so that's why i said it's better in the beginning just to sign up for a wallet as your first step because if you sign up with your YouTube or your, uh, what were the other options, like Facebook or something, or your email, you have to do the second step, which is to verify through a phone. So it just makes it one extra step that's kind of a pain. All right, so that being said, uh, you know, you can set up your profile, obviously, in your system language, uh, you, right there, your profile and your system language and everything. So let me, uh, let me go back and show you more of what this looks like. So we get into your account, and on your account you'll have all kinds of stuff you can do here and you can go to your own channel you can upload a video you can subscribe to people your settings and then you can look at your partner prog progression here and we'll, we'll get to all that stuff but I just wanted to show you some of this and you can buy Lino points if you want or you can cash them out as well if you you have enough and these take you to like community blogs and places you can go to, to to get help. All right, so let's go back to the main channel. And to get to the main channel, all you have to do is click your little DLive button there. So here's what the main board looks like on DLive as you come into it. As you surf your DLive, you will, uh, you'll be able to go through and just kind of see who's live. And on the bottom here, it shows you how many people are watching and then how much they've been tipped this session. And you go through and you find some people that you like. And since it's such a small community right now, everybody's really cool. Like, you can stop in and talk to anyone, and they'll talk to you back. Uh, and mainly a lot of DLive right now is gamers, but there are some news shows. I do, a, you know, a, a talk show most of the time, but I do game over there some. So, you know, there's a variety of things going on. And what's interesting about DLive is a lot of it is international. You'll click on here and people will be speaking in Turkish or Russian or uh, Korean. There's all kinds of, it's a very international community, which is was pretty neat. So I get to make friends all over the world. Let me show you what your Lino wallet looks like. Once you're signed up, and I'm gonna dive into the blockchain and the cryptocurrency part of this now. The um, D Live, what you're looking at is actually an app that runs on something called a Leno blockchain. So it works kind of like uh, most cryptocurrency. It's on its own blockchain. So that keeps it decentralized. And what happens is that uh, people are allowed to make apps that sit on the Leno. But currently, there's mainly just one major app, which is D Live. And that is the thing I just showed you. Uh, so, so you understand what I'm talking about. For you noobs, this is the app that runs on the Leno blockchain. Now here's my Leno wallet. 
And what will happen is you get paid different ways with the Leno wallet. And I'm going to explain this. There's something called content bonus, which we'll talk about in a little bit. But the content bonus, it, it allows you to um, get paid if you put up stuff and it gets enough traction and people pay attention to it, you get bonused up to seven days for it later. So if you put up a really good stream, you keep getting paid on it um, by the way they've set up the little points. There's also something called uh, redeemable LP reward, redeem now. And this is your Leno points that you lock in. So to keep the currency stable, you have a choice to lock your points in. And you can think of locking your points in kind of like a, um, oh, like a CD market. I mean, uh, so if I, if I have $1,000 and I put it in a bank in a CD, it'll pay, you know, a certain percentage, five, six percent, something like that. And then I'm not allowed to touch that CD until the time has gone by. So if I put my money into a money market CD for like a year, I can't touch that CD for a year. Well, they have something like that on Leno. And what happens is if you decide to lock your points down, it lasts 12 weeks. You're committing to 12 weeks. And then after that, they release a 12th at a time. And what this does is it helps stabilize the money. So they're concerned that they've seen other platforms where people come in and pump and dump. They'll, they'll just make a bunch of money and then cash out all at once. And it's really unstable for uh, cryptocurrency to do that. So they encourage people to lock it in. And as a reward, you get paid 9.9%. .9%, so basically 10% of uh, this pool of money. And, and I'll, I'll show you that too in a bit. This pool of money... Um, is is distributed to all the locked points out there so what happens is as i come in here i will get a bonus like the here's 740 leno points that's redeemable just because i lock these things in and it kind of works like a money market account it it's my choice to lock it in and i, I did because i make interest on it in a way it's, it's not really interest it's like a bonus but you can think of it if you don't understand this concept as like like a CD that lasts 12 months, um, or sorry, 12 weeks. So that's that's the way it works. And what happens is I'm going to explain the breakdowns just so you've seen this wallet. Oh, and so I'll just take you through the wallet really quick. The wallet works where you can transfer, you can pay someone, you can receive, you can buy Leno points uh, through PayPal, or yeah, I think that's kind of the current price on them right now. Get an idea of what Linos are worth. You can get paid and you can cash out. You can either get it PayPal or Bitcoin. Or you can lock your points down. And I, uh, I'll i show you an example. So say I'm going to lock, I'll lock another 2,000 points. And once I lock it, here's where it tells you, you're about to lock 2,000 Leno points. Note it takes 12 weeks to stake out. Little stake to uh, Leno points. So during uh, which one twelfth Leno stakes will be staked out each week. So there you go. So I'm going to lock it in at least for 12 weeks. And what this will allow me to do is I will make more bonus money later on. More bonus crypto. So now I've locked in 2,000 more. Probably have to refresh it to see that. Yeah, now you'll see it swings and I've got so there's an example of how to lock points all right oh and of course you can forgot to show you this part you can of course unlock points so you put that on and it starts paying it out in uh, once every week at 12. so hopefully that explains the wallet and even though this part might sound confusing the content bonus and the reward redeemable uh, bonus. I'm going to dive into that pretty deep right now. So let me explain this a little better so you understand. If I make a donation to someone, say for 10 Leno points. So this streamer is live right now and I'm donating an ice cream. I give her 10 points. She will actually only receive 9 points. So what happens is if I look at my wallet, this is like a good example. Someone donated me 10 points. 
but I only received nine. So where does that other tenth go? Where did that piece go? That piece, that tenth, goes into the pool that pays out for locked points. So in other words, you get nine tenths of what you know someone pays you, but if you want that other tenth, you're gonna have to lock into the pool some points and eventually, hopefully, sometimes I make more than that tenth, I feel like. Um, I make interest all the time on this thing. So I, uh, that, that is how this locked points pool is funded. So when you donate to someone, only nine tenths of it goes across. If you want that other tenth, you need to lock in points. So let's review. We've covered how to turn a wallet on. This is the technical part of how the money works. If you're not interested in that, then uh, you can just jump to the next next part. Okay, so let's take a look at when they set up the Leno blockchain, they set it up to pay out like this. So out of um, all the, the points that are created, so again, if you don't understand cryptocurrency, basically they have computers that make algorithms and as you solve algorithms uh you you get money released traditionally the way Lino's doing it is they've just scheduled so much money to be released so often and as these coins get released and, and basically made they're made out of thin air kind of like the federal reserve does um as these things get made the breakdown happens like this so there's a content creator percentage um, that is basically paid to, you know, to the people actually making content, 13 out of, out of uh, 13 twentieths, developer percentage, a validator percentage, and an infra percentage. Okay, so the, the content um, creator is that bonus that we looked at earlier on, on the wallet here that when it says um, you got redeemable content bonus, they take the percentage of money they make out of like every Leno point, 13th, uh, 13 20th, will be paid off to a bonus to content creators. The developer bonus is uh, people that actually develop the app and they also do a lot of cool things with it. Like when you're on DLive, say I go watch someone, let's pick someone to watch. Um, what am I interested in? What am I interested in? This guy's pretty nice. I like him. So we'll go watch him. You'll see a little chest right here. And this chest uh, builds up the more you say it, you talk. Like the more you activity you do, I say, hey everybody. All right. All of a sudden you'll see my chest grow a little bit. And the longer I stay on, it'll eventually get to a point where you it'll start dancing around and you can uh, you can redeem it so here's an example of when you finally commented enough or sat on a stream long enough this chest will start dancing and when you click it it's a random amount of leno points that come out i only got one that time but it'll start refilling the more i start commenting and talking and you'll see me do that later so let's let me talk a little bit and, and I'll show you what it says. Um, I am doing a how to video about D Life. So as I do this and I start talking more, you'll see it go up. Now if I want and I like this guy's stream, I can donate. So I will give him ten Leno points. I'll give him an ice cream, and then you'll see it appear. And you'll see a little graphic come up that I just donated. And this is how one um, source of revenue is people just come in and start donating. And because you can make money, when this chest finally gets full, it slowly grows as you watch. You can um, unlock the chest and get paid. So people that don't even stream or anything can make money by just uh, watching the chest dance around. And then opening it and you'll get paid and it just happens over and over endlessly as long as you're watching it. Now, that being said, um, so here's the breakdown. Part of the developer percentage is, is I believe, and by the way, if I get any of this wrong, feel free to 
fix it in the comments. Part of the developer percentage is, is there, is uh, those chests that dance around. The developers set that up to encourage people to be interactive. Uh, a validator is to make sure that the uh, crypto works right. They are people that like have servers that run all the uh, cryptocurrency. It keeps track of uh, the blockchain of what's been spent and what hasn't been spent. And those people get rewarded a piece of this and it makes that way to, to decentralize something instead of one giant company like you know Amazon owning a, a thousand servers that everybody goes in and out of, you can have your own server at your house, talk to DLive and if it's good enough and they, they validate you, you can be a validator and get paid just to basically have a server. And what they're hoping is they're going to auction spots off where people with servers from all over the world will get a little piece of the pie to host the, the uh, DLive. And so, or well, sorry, to host the Leno blockchain. Well, host the, the blockchain. And what happens is if they use their server, eventually, when these auctions really get going, there'll be thousands and thousands of... Um, auctions everywhere and it will be truly decentralized so it's not just all in one company and you know some government entity can just wipe it out so that is the game plan right now because they're brand new most of the servers are all in one place but as they're growing and they they have plans on doing auctions where other servers can come online and uh and do that and then the infra percentage is basically i i my understanding is just to pay for their their what they have built right now and to pay the people that actually make the uh, um the servers work and the uh, i mean it's like the infrastructure junk to keep things running that's my understanding i'm if you know more than me feel free to to tune in on that part okay so let's talk about oh now we're gonna we're gonna go back to this so i, I showed you all how d live works and you'll see that you know people are or talking back to me and stuff in here. And, um, that's really how it, it's pretty simple. You can, um, you know, just like a YouTube or something, you can put a description and a title. And what's cool is you can look at replays on here. So if I want, let me move this over a little, you can, DLive will automatically save your replays. So once you finish, it's already done. And you continue to get paid up to seven days for people that come and watch this stuff. Now, if you want, you can use DLive like a video service. You can use it like you would YouTube or something by clicking videos. Um, let me see, I think I have a few videos. Let me go to my own channel. I'm gonna go to my own channel. So you'll get this notice when my, cause I'm not streaming right now. So I've uploaded two videos about growing potatoes and growing baby corn. They're two months ago. So. They made a little, you know, I made a little money on, on one of them or something. But what happens is because DLive is really not concentrating on video uploads right now, they're a, mainly a live streaming platform. Most of your stuff, unless people like surf to your channel and click this little video, they're not going to see it. But it is a nice feature that, you know, here's my replays that it saved my replays um, without me having to do anything. And that's been really nice. You can also check out my earnings, get an idea of, um, you know, whenever you want to make sure that your donation came in and out, everything's uh, very easy to find and follow. And then you can check out your followers. Now, I don't have that many followers. I've only got 82 followers. But what is cool is DLive has a thing where if you get to 200 followers, you get to have a uh, get to be a verified partner. So right now I'm a non-partner because I don't have 200 followers. What happens when you get verified though is you can start getting paid subscriptions, and you can start hosting other channels. And if you don't know what hosting means, this means that if I am a streamer, that if you were to come to my channel right now, nothing's going on. But if I were to turn on a hosting feature, I could host my friend's channel who I like, and you would see his stuff playing here when you come see me. 
So it's a kind of a way you can support your friends and buddies and they support you back and they're like, oh, well, if you're going to host me when I'm not online, I'll host you when I'm not online. And that's a nice way to share your viewers back and forth. It builds good karma. I, I like it. I used to do it on Twitch a lot. But you don't get that option until... Oops. No. Nope. What happened? Nope. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> You don't get that option until uh, the joys of, of streaming here, of um, until you've hit 200 uh, followers, then you get verified. The global partner gets a lot more power, at, and I believe that is 1,000 followers. And when that hits, you get $100 of D Live merch and plus 100 Ninja Guinea bonuses, which is like a Ninja Guinea. I'll show you is like a Lamborghini. It's kind of like their their cute little joke of a Lamborghini. So if I were to go to somebody's uh, somebody's account, you'll see a little option to donate a thousand Lino points, which is a Ninja Guinea. So they're saying if you sign up, if you if you become a global partner, you get ten of those. So like that's that's quite a lot. Ten thousand uh, bonus points just for making that goal. So it's, it's kind of the Wild West uh, right now because the platform is, is new and it, it has been so revamped because it used to be tied to Steemit and they cut ties, made their own blockchain, put some money into the infrastructure and it's way better now. Uh, I'm really excited about this platform and I think it's going to be the platform of the future as more and more gamers who just want to be left alone and want to come over and make a, a, a living. Because you can you can make donations here instantly. Like, you can make a living your first show. I mean, not make a living, but, you know, you can make um, money your first show through donations. Where, you know, um, something like Twitch and stuff, it, it, it's hard to do that. I don't think you can even take donations until you're a partner over there. So you can... It's like instant. I mean, I, I talked to my buddy Unirock into coming over and doing a show. And he made a bunch of money like his first show. So that's really exciting. They don't really uh, cripple you. Now, let's talk about these other bonuses you get. Once you hit um, the global partner, you get uh, transcoding, which basically means that you get a higher quality stream more often. So if you are someone who donates a lot of time to DLive and you're running some high graphic games, they're going to look really nice. Um, you'll get extra bonuses, which we talked about. Expedia a payment. Okay, so when I decide to cash out my Leno points, you don't automatically get a PayPal payment. They, You're kind of like stuck in a line to where they get to you. But as you move up and you're a partner, you get a faster payment. Um, and a global one gets a much faster payment. Uh, you can also have your own uh, emotes for your channel. It says it's in development and polling. So I need to remind you guys that DLive is still a very much work in progress. And what's cool about DLive is that if you um, if you have Discord, you can let me show you DLive's Discord here. If you have Discord, you can come into DLive and um, and they always have some sort of interesting information. Or right here is talking about the happy hour coming up and how they're going to give away uh, Leno points if you stream during happy hour, things like that. There's always some sort of cool promotion. But what's really good is in Discord is the help feature and the feature request. If you're stuck on anything, you can go in here and drop something. And I'm not kidding. In like five minutes, someone will answer you. It's ridiculous. How they, they really... I've had some of the main developers come on my page and uh, help me on my page, which is awesome. Now, I imagine once DLive gets really found out and gets big, because it's growing fast. Like I was watching it six months ago and I was like, one of the bigger, larger streamers. Now I'm like a super small streamer, <laughs> you know, like it's growing fast. They're getting a lot of people. So I wouldn't wait if you're planning on um, streaming, get your, get your flag and stake it in the ground over there before it gets too crowded. Uh, it's, it's, it's a good time to be there right now. But what's cool is you can actually request features and say, you know, like I, I really liked rating people's channels on Twitch. Can you make something like that? And they'll say, yeah, we'll put it in development. And you'll most likely see that feature in six months down the road. So it's, it's pretty neat. Um, so that's a, the best way I found to talk to them is just to, to, to use the Discord app. Now, uh, a couple other features. Did I miss anything here? I talked about how uh, the money was broke down, how to get paid. 
what all the tabs do. Uh, I did, I think, oh, let me talk about a few other features that maybe you didn't know. So since it is decentralized, you will find out that, you know, people can do adult content here. So you can have not safe for work stuff, but if you click on home, you will not see that, but you will see it under trending and newest if you, if you turn it on. So like here, I'm showing not, a, uh, not safe for work content. You will see it under these tabs, but not here. So just be aware if you're interested in, you know, like that sort of thing, you can turn that on and off. Um, the other features is once you make a channel, you will have access to your people on this side. So here's my channel. So I will usually drop something here, like a little note, and it shouts out to all my all my members when they sign in will see, you know, hey, there's messages. And it just is a way to talk to all your followers at once. Now, it does not send them emails. It doesn't let them know. All it does is kind of light up a number over here saying, hey, there's something here. Come look. But uh, I don't think there's a way you can directly like email out to people saying, hey, I'm online. You, This is pretty much the way you do it. You go through here and say, hey, I'm online in 10 minutes. Come watch. And if, they, if they're if they on DLive and they see it appear, they'll see a little message appear over here. Oh, let me show you what I'm talking about. You'll see a little message appear over here. So um, if I say, I'm thinking about streaming. If one of my followers was like, yeah, do it. Oh, there you go, my English. Um, boy, I can't type today. Streaming. Uh, everybody here will get a message that that just happened. It'll appear over here. But uh, they could also respond in here and talk to me if they wanted. Or if you're having a promotion or you're doing something. Or if you want to talk to your members directly, this is kind of your area to do it. So that's what all this is over here. These are people's channels I've followed. Hopefully that makes sense. Then I believe, yeah, here's, if you want to buy Lino points directly, you can buy them right here and you can get an idea what they're going for today. And, oh, I forgot how to actually show you how to stream yourself. So if you want to stream, you click this little stream button here and you will have a chance to set up your title, choose your English, you know, choose your language, choose a category. You can restrict it to non, not safe for work, the age restriction. Um, all right, and then you can choose a thumbnail. Also, there's a bad filter word list. I'm not gonna show you my bad words, but you can type them in. Like I have a family oriented show. I don't like people coming in and just cussing and cussing and cussing. I have, uh, like, my my nephew comes and watches my show and stuff, so I don't want that element in there, so I try to use bad filter words. You also can mod people, and um, you can have them, uh, you know, so they'll watch your channel and throw out any troublemakers. I'll show you actually how to mod people while I'm talking about it. If you are to mod people, you go to your own little section here, so I'm looking for myself. Where's myself? right here. So I go to myself and you'll see that I've already modded a few people. If I wanted to mod someone, all I do is like click on their name and then you'll get an option here to set as a moderator or you can ban them. So that's how you actually set a mod. Just because I'm thinking about it, I decided to, to tell you that. Okay, so let's go back in. You're setting up your own channel. So those are all the options you have. If you want to shout out the, that you're going to be on DLive, here's your actual address you send out to people. Okay. And then you have your, um, finally you have your stream URL and your, your stream key. So this is not the kind of thing like you now where you can just turn on your webcam and start talking. You need a... Um, a program that broadcast and the one pretty much everybody uses called OBS so you would download OBS it's free and I'm gonna show you and it's gonna get super trippy because I'm showing you myself 
on OBS, filming OBS. So it might get trippy there for a minute. This is what OBS looks like. And um, what you can do is if you hit File and then Settings, you'll get taken into a point where you can see your stream right here. And what you do is you click Custom Streaming, you copy the URL, and then you'll have a stream key that you copy in here. And once you do that, you're set and good to go. That's it. You know, um, there's lots of other channels to show you how to do OSB. I'm not going to show you all that. But I did want to show you that you have to put it as a custom server. Don't use a streaming service. Custom server. And again, you find those numbers on when you hit the little camera. You know, the little camera. Um, you hit your own channel. You find the little numbers, and those are right here. Your stream URL on the in the stream key and if you don't see them hit the regenerate button and you'll see some numbers pop up and copy them in and then you just drop them into here so I'm gonna cancel that that's what OSB does and that's those are the steps to set up to start serving now again this is not uh, an OSB what am I saying OSB OBS boy my dyslexia is killing me today uh, OBS it is, um, that is, uh, you know, a whole different animal. There's like a million things you can do with that to make your stream look pretty with graphics and all kinds of cute stuff. You can do all that to, uh, to make it prettier. And there's even a, uh, tie-in that there's a guy named Tidy, T-I-D-Y, Tidy Labs over there that you can tie in all these cool features on D-Labs. So if you watch my show when it's really full up, You'll see a bunch of graphics that will, like when a follower joins, it'll show a follower welcome or it'll uh, have a graphic for, you know, like a follower count. If you ever wonder how people do that sort of stuff, it is through OBS and using something like a, a Tidy Labs plugin, which I, I can uh, link that in the bottom to, to, to show you how to, how to find that. All right. That, you guys are probably, I'm surprised you're still with me, but thank you. <laughs> this is the longest D-Live tutorial ever, but I really wanted to be thorough and, and show you everything so you can at least start and find your way around in here. Uh, if you have any other questions, remember you can always go to Discord and ask any of them, but a lot of stuff you can find also uh, just on your little tab. Go to the community section or the blogs and they really help. Again, this is for D-Live for 2019. This is the beginning of 2019. I might make one five, six months from now if DLive changes so much that I'm like, okay, we need a new tutorial. If I left anything out, feel free to ask any questions. I'll also put a link down below on how, you know, the little DLive to get started. And remember, try to get the Leno wallet first. It makes your life easier. And write those uh, passwords down. <laughs> don't, don't forget that. That's very important. Uh, then other than that you can ask any questions you want and you can also go to their d live um, discord group and ask the developers directly because i'm not an expert over there but i can get around so if i've also said anything that is incorrect if some developers are watching this i want to clarify feel free honestly thank you so much for staying with me i will see you over d live